Movement has been fixed, aka increased, in the final update of Fortnite in 2023. Fortnite has confirmed that not only your crouching speed and normal running speed has been increased, but they've also updated the animations to give you a more fluid and smoother experience. In order for everyone to get adjusted to these updates, they have reset everyone's custom diagonals. So if you play keyboard and mouse, your double movement settings have been reset. Before we get into the rest of today's updates, make sure you subscribe down below for more Fortnite content. This is guaranteed the last update of this year and for it Fortnite have also fixed locker rarities so rarities can now be seen in your locker again medallions have been given a visual update in order to tell what you're looking at a lot easier this is what they used to look like and they now have a more flat design this is what they currently look like rocket racing has got an update for collision with cars so now if you get hit by someone else's car you'll no longer 180 spin out and Fortnite festival has disabled the option to restart songs nighttime visibility has been increased in certain areas of the map where it was previously a little bit too dark it has now been brightened up this is not the only visibility that has been increased as well storm is now easy to see it's not just the edge of storm that has been updated which makes it easier to see it's also medallions don't clutter the mini map as poorly as well the thunderburst smg has been updated to better match what it actually looks like in a game this is what it used to look like and this is what it now looks like going to be a lot clearer to understand what these guns look like on the floor now same goes for the auto frenzy shotgun this is what it used to look like in your inventory aka the icon and this is what it currently looks like i see grappler is now in casual slash ranked as i stated the other day in my winterfest video they give you icy feet and they can spawn in floor loot in chess in rare chess golden poi drones in combat caches as well as llamas these have infinite use and absolutely no cooldown so they're going to be a lot of fun just be careful not to slide into zone if you missed my video the other day on the hyper smg i also talked about the striker during that video now the striker has been decreased one damage from common so we used to do 24 to 23 uncommon from 25 to 24 rare from 26 to 25 epic from 27 to 26 legendary from 28 to 27 and mythic from 30 to 29 medallions got a lot of changes too and if you want to check them all out check out my hyper smg video basically they got big nerfs Ballistic shields now have increased pistol damage from 18 to 19. The Ranger pistol got a buff all round, dealing one more damage from common from 23 to 24, uncommon two more damage from 24 to 26, rare from 25 to 27, epic from 26 to 28, legendary from 28 to 30, and mythic from 29 to 31. This is big, because if you hit a headshot now with this item, it's gonna be a lot more deadly. The Thunderburst SMG didn't just get a model change, it's been updated. Its magazine size has gone from 24 to 27, and the drum mod magazine size which typically increases guns ammo by 27 percent has now increased from it used to be 34 bullets it is now 36 bullets low berries have been given an update they now grant you 15 shield instead of 10 shield these are really good if you're not using them yet this season make sure you use them there's two new bosses on the map you now have krampus on the map which drops you an epic chest and i will be making a separate video on this boss doing a challenge with it and sergeant winter is here as well he is at winterberg he throws presents when you go near him a few other changes that have been added lego fortnite now when you eat snacks in lego fortnite it gives you more filling aka your hunger bar fills up quicker they've fixed a couple bugs so now if you lose your items after being eliminated from above ground and below ground it's been worked on and you'll no longer lose your items they also made these changes if you missed it last week the durability of non-rare slash non-epic tools has increased by 30 percent and for rare slash epic tools the durability has been increased by 60 percent reduce damage from the brute poison area for all three brutes reduce damage from the frosted scorpion explosion sand scorpions scorpions found in caves regular scorpions crabs on the shoreline sand Sand spiders, alpine frost spiders are slightly easier to defeat. Rams now give you heavy wool. Grapplers in LEGO Fortnite now have 30 charges and spiders won't jump scare you as often when overturning rocks. Rocket Racing is trying to improve the queue times and they're gonna be adjusting this as time goes on so you're not waiting as long. We already talked about car collision but that was a big one so I talked about it early. They've fixed the Jackie outfit so now it's rewarded at the proper rank rather than at an earlier rank. They've fixed part of the song library for Fortnite Festival. Fall damage has been disabled now in main stage of Fortnite Festival and they've got rid of Restart Song to actually fix an error that was causing the game to be unresponsive. And the final update for Fortnite Festival has been they fixed an issue where scores may have been posted to the wrong leaderboard. So those are all the updates. If you guys aren't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more Fortnite content. Like the video if it's helped you out in any shape or form. Remember to take care of yourselves and catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!